Good afternoon, everybody. It's me. Um, I just uh, was discussing all the cancer protocols, um, and I just wanted to give you guys a quick God story. I am in Napomo. I need to go look at some land for a client. Um, I just wanted to share with you guys. I was praying. I'm like, Lord, what do I share today? So what's on my heart today <clears throat> is um, the healing power through laughter. So how many of y'all know that the Bible says the joy of the Lord is your strength? And how many of you guys know that laughter is good like a medicine? So I want to share with you guys, it was a while back, maybe a year and a half ago or so, I felt like going to church, obviously, and I went to the Pearl. And I love that church more than anything. It's a wonderful church. And so when I went there, Pastor Daniel, who happens to be my God kid, um, he shared a joke. And I just started laughing, you guys. I have this crazy thing happen to me where I laugh all the time. Like if anybody knows me, they say, Shelly, your laughter's contagious, it's super loud, you like have no filters, like you'll just laugh in a grocery store, you'll laugh at a church service, you'll laugh anywhere. Well, it's really weird because I call it holy laughter. I don't know really know what it's called, but I just get this where I just, I get this thing in me where I can't stop laughing and it's crazy and um, it happens to be in church sometimes. And so anyway, so Daniel said this joke, I started laughing and I literally could not stop laughing for anything. It was like to the point where it was uncontrollable. I wasn't trying to be distracting. It just was happening. And I had learned from God, I could do two things. I can obey God and just laugh or I could stop it and not be a disruption. Well, I would never try to be a disruption intentionally, but I've learned you guys the power of laughter breaks heavy chains it breaks bondages and and I don't know why I know Daniel totally endorses laughing and Roxanne and Roger but there's a lot of churches that would be like oh my god you're totally disrupting the service stop so um, I try to be sensitive to the Lord but anyways all that to say I could not stop laughing <clears throat> and uh, little did I know there was a lady that was walking on the main road on that street and she was walking by as I was laughing hysterically and I didn't know this, but the lady was about to kill herself. She was on her last walk and she was going to end her life. And, um, and as she was walking by, she heard me hysterically laughing and it caught her attention to the point where she couldn't handle it. It distracted her from dying and she literally wanted to know what was so funny. So she opened up the door. She came in the church and I was still laughing. She came right up to me and she's like, what is so funny? And I just said, you know what? The Lord is so good. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Like he wants to heal you girl. And, um, and anyways, I prayed with her. I talked with her. I led her to the Lord right there. And she flat out told me afterwards, she said, I guess God spared me because I was on my way to kill myself. And if it wasn't for your laughter, I would have done it. And so how many of y'all know that God can use anything? He can use a donkey. He can use anyone, anywhere it has nothing to do with me. I just want to make that clear. I'm not trying to say I'm all that in a bag of chips, okay? I It was funny because when I was laughing in church that day, part of me was like, stop laughing, Shelly, stop laughing. But I just couldn't contain it. I just could not contain it. And, um, and after she came up to me and said, if it wasn't for that laughter so loud, I would have never heard you on the street walking by. And it broke me. It just broke. It broke the depression. It broke that heaviness that was over me. It broke that feeling of wanting to die. And so I want to tell you guys, laughter is powerful. The joy of the Lord is powerful. It says it's our strength and laughter is good like a medicine. They even have a thing called laughter therapy. Come on, you guys, people pay for this stuff. And so what I learned from that lesson that day after I prayed with her, cried with her, hugged on her was number one, never be ashamed of the gospel. Number two, when you feel this unction to laugh and you just can't contain it and you know it's supernatural, you know you're not making it up, I would tell you just to roll with it, okay? Because the foolish things confound the wise. And although the church that I was at are precious and they endorse it, condone it, and they know I'm not some crazy person. Um, I would tell you it baffles that religious spirit a lot if, if you've gone to a kind of church where they're like, oh my gosh. But God breaks heavy chains. He breaks heavy chains of bondage, whether it's just walking up and hugging somebody, whether it's laughing with somebody, whether it's that contagious laughter and somebody's depressed and they walk up to you and that laughter breaks it. The Bible says that God laughs at the enemy. And so there is power in laughter. There's power in joy. There's power in finding the joy of the Lord each and every day. So when the burdens get heavy and when you find out you just got stage four cancer, when you just found out you have rheumatoid arthritis, when you just found out you have $100,000 in debt you didn't know about, when you just found out you got medical bills or you just lost your job or your house is going to foreclosure, you have two choices. You can totally be downcast 
why so downcast oh my soul put your hope in god or you can laugh at the enemy and say i don't know how this is all going to play out i don't even know what it looks like but i know one thing we serve an almighty god who changes not who is the god of the impossible he can move mountains he can he can part the red sea he can raise lazarus from the dead i mean he can do anything he wants to do and so i want to come alongside with him i want to come alongside with joy i want to come alongside with laughter i want to come alongside with forgiving people i want to come alongside with kindness and meekness and self control I want to come alongside trying to eat healthy, trying to exercise, trying to love people, trying to really honor my children. I want to come alongside that side of life, right? Making today your best day. Make today count. So I want to end with this. Is today, are you making today count? Are you living your best life? Are you choosing joy over tears? Are you choosing joy over sorrow? Are you allowing God to radically invade and crash in? All I know that day is I was God that in spite, I was glad that in spite of me, God used that situation to bring in some random girl who was about ready to end her life because the spirit of depression, the spirit of suicide grabbed a hold of her, held her bondage, and God intervened that day. So when God has you do some crazy things that don't make a lot of sense, roll with it, okay? Okay, if it's laughter, for God's sake, roll with it. There's no harm, no foul play in laughing. We can laugh at a, at a comedy show. We can laugh in the movie theater. We can laugh playing outside. But God forbid we laugh in church. And that's just wrong thinking. That's just not thinking. I'm not saying go and laugh and be a disruption. I'm just saying that it's good to have laughter. It's good to have joy. Amen. So I just wanted to share that quick God story with you guys, how it radically touched my heart. These stories always build up my faith too, because I'm just always blown away at what God does, right? It's Jesus. It's only Jesus. It's all about Jesus. So Lord, I just pray God as I go out and see my property right now. Lord, I pray that you would guide my steps. And Lord, I just pray and I just declare over each person that watches these guys, I declare the joy of the Lord is their strength. I declare laughter is good like a medicine. Come on. I declare, Father God, that they will be able to laugh at the enemy. They can laugh at their circumstances. They can laugh and say, if God be for me, who can be against me? Lord, I release forgiveness on every single person too, Lord. I just pray that we would be a people that would forgive people. Lord, I pray we would be a people that would uh, let the resentment, the bitterness go, Lord. And God, I just pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you would do creative miracles today. People in their inner healing of emotions, damaged emotions, I just heard that. And God, I pray that you would bring outer healing, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, would you bring joy back to each person's heart right now in the name of Jesus. We praise you and we thank you. Amen. Um, one last thing, I did a video a couple days ago and I said, I see somebody's right shoulder and it's hurting them and God is healing them. And I got a message about two hours later that said um, they instantly got healed. And so praise God for that. So I know that God's on the move. Amen. And he can use anything he wants to. He can use YouTube. He can use Facebook. He can use anybody walking in the grocery store or the gas station or at the park or at church. God is just not limited. So anyways, I love you guys so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And remember the joy of the Lord is your strength. Amen.